everybody. I'm retired Air Force veteran Ed Ruckel from Veteran Facilitator. We're keeping you informed. It is my passion how to get a VA veteran ID card. That's the focus of this video. And remember, if you like what I'm doing, please click that subscribe button. Let's get started. In this video, you're going to learn what a VA veteran ID card is and what it does. You're going to learn if you're eligible for an ID card, and you're going to learn how to apply. You're going to learn what information is needed and what happens after you apply. You're going to learn how to check the status of a previously submitted application. You're going to learn how to replace a lost ID card, and you're going to learn where you can go to learn more and who you can call when help is needed. Let's get started. Well, here I am on the Veteran ID Card web page. I'll put a link to this page down below in the description area. So you're getting ready with this ID card. It's, you can get discounts offered to veterans at many restaurants and hotels and stores and other businesses. You can't believe how much money, a whopping amount of money I'm at, at that you're going to save by simply having this easy to use card. The entire process is very simple. It's very easy to get. And I tell you what, you're going to be very happy you watch this video. So let me walk you through this process. So what is a veteran ID card? Well, I highlight this for us. The veteran ID card VIC is a digital form of photo ID you can use to get discounts offered to veterans at many restaurants, hotels, stores, and other businesses. Lowe's and uh, Home Depot, two big ones. You save 5-10% on a big purchase and you're going to save a lot of money. Now let me clarify. The VIC card, the Veteran ID card, is not your Veteran Health card. If you're registered for VA Health Care, that's not the card you want to use for discount. That's a totally different card. Are you eligible for a v Veteran ID card? You may be eligible if you meet both of these conditions. Both must be true. You served on active duty in the reserves or in the National Guard, including Coast Guard. And you received an honorable or general discharge under honorable conditions. If you received an other than honorable bad conduct or dishonorable character of discharge, you're not eligible for a veteran ID card. If you have an uncharacterized or unknown discharge status, we'll have to verify your eligibility. They will have to verify your eligibility before you're approving your application. And finally, you need to provide a copy of your discharge papers when you apply for a VIC card in order to prove your character of discharge. How to apply for a Veteran ID card? Well, it's really quite simple. You can apply online, but if you already have a physical ID card, you can continue to use that one to get your discounts. No problem. You don't have to upgrade to a, a digital card. But if you want to get a digital card, then you have to sign in and apply for a Veteran ID card using one of these logins here, okay? And you just click here to in, in or create one of the accounts that you want to use. When you apply, you're going to need this information. And it highlights exactly what you're going to need. Social Security numbers, digital copies of your DD-214 or 256 or other forms, and a current statement or valid government issued ID, such as a driver's license, passport, a state issued identification, etc. Then it comes on down here and it talks about a digital photo. And these are the other things you're going to need to have. So I'm not going to read them off to you. Just go through that list and you'll get an idea of what you got to bring with you. So what happens after you apply for a veteran ID card? Well, they're going to verify or check your eligibility. Okay. They're going to verify, get a character or discharge eligibility. They're going to check your driver's license, valid passport, stuff like that. And they're going to check the image you've chosen to appear on the card to make sure it meets the requirements. Here's additional information that you're going to see down here. And again, you can just read through that and get an idea of what else you're going to have to do to make it work. Checking the status of your application after you apply. 
and it tells you you can sign in using your access account. Now, if you click right here, in a few seconds, it drags a little bit, but you'll be okay. If you click right here, it's going to open this up, and it's going to let you choose the login ID that you created earlier when I mentioned it to you, right? Just click on that, and you can go right in, and once you log in, it'll give you the status. Replacing your veteran ID card if it gets lost, and it gives you the address. Just click here and send them an email, uh, and uh, they'll verify they can get back to you right away, okay? Want to learn more about how the veteran ID card works? Just come on down here, and you'll see these questions right here. Will my veteran ID card replace my other military cards? If you click on this little plus, it'll up give you an answer. In this case, it's no. Your veteran ID card won't replace your veteran health information card or your Department of Defense card. And you can do that, and when you're done with it, you can just click on it. Or when you close your web browser, it'll go back to, uh, it'll close it as well. Okay. Well, this completes my presentation. From the information presented, you learned what a veteran ID card is and what it does. You learned if you're eligible and how to apply for that. You learned what information is needed, what happens after you apply. You learned how to check the status. You learned how to replace a lost ID card. And you learned where you can go to learn more using the pull-down menus and those little plus signs that I showed you. All right, finally, if you look like what I'm doing here, please click that subscribe button down below. That's going to help me a lot. Leave me a like or a comment should you have any. And also, give me a call. If you have questions and you need some help, you give me a call. The call is free. So is my service. Give me a call at 734-612-8757. Or send me an email, edruckle91 at gmail.com. Till next time, have yourself a great day.